This is hour number two of uh, Pillars of Eternity. Uh, I've uh, created my character. I've done the tutorial fight with a wolf. You ever notice the tutorial fights in these games tend to always be like a wolf or a, a goblin or some rats or like just something like small and kind of sad and pathetic. I'd love to. I'd love to do like a, a super cut or something like on YouTube of all of the introductory fights in role playing games. What do we fight in Fallout? Uh, giant scorpion was a good one. It's usually just like something not too weird or scary. In this case, I killed a young wolf. All right, so now that I've murdered the young wolf, I'm gonna go back, uh, let's see. I'm trying to find the guy who was supposed to give me water. I believe that's my current quest. Find Sparful. Excuse me. Okay. So we're running around in the dark. That's a thing. Looking for Sparful. The backgrounds are quite pretty in this game so far. Like, uh... It does really feel like Baldur's Gate Plus. Um, I feel a little weird about the 3D-ness of the characters. Uh, that feels a little strange to me. Oh, what's this action? Oh, some burned lady. Oh, yeah, I picked up some armor, didn't I? What am I wearing? Padded armor? Recovery speed minus 20. Amount of time it takes between actions. Okay, so the heavier armor, the slower you go, get to react between. What's this one? 6 and 30. Interesting. All right, what kind of armor does she have? Scale? Oh, she's so cool looking. She looks like uh, Lagatha. I'm going to make her of cooler colors. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to that bridge situation, and uh, I'm gonna go across, across there. I bet she's on the other side. As Sparful went hunting, at least he left the water skins. Come on. Alrighty, let's see here. Use the tab key to highlight interactive objects. Ah, oh, look at all these interactive objects. Oh, the thing. <laughs> all right. You crouch at the riverbank. Dip your water skin into the cool water while Kalisha waits nearby. As you watch, as your eyes, you turn, look sharply to the tree line. Oh, shit. Sparful. Sparful? Are you all right? Oh, no. Sparful's toe catches on a rock. He collapsed forward. The feather shaft of an arrow planted between his shoulders like an enemy flag. Oh, shit. Enemies. Ambush. You don't say. All right, who we got here? We got a little Glenfathen hunter and a Glenfathen hunter. What you need? All right, girl, you rush that dude. Eh? I'm going to blind this other one. Did it work? All right, I strike worked. Got it. Attack the crap out of this one. I see, so there's the little like bar that charges up. Yeah, What'd you, you go and smash that one. Try to knock her down. No, don't knock me down. Oh god. <laughs> and let's let's do it. Well I well, I blast this lady again. Attacking. Hit her with things. Okay, when your characters become fatigued, feel the psychological wear and tear of demanding activity. Builds up over time. Some scripted actions. Ah, uh, the athletic slows fatigue. Okay. Fatigue goes through multiple stages, minor penalties. Resting is the best way to get rid of fatigue. Okay. Great. What you need? 
Yeah. Get back to camp. Yeah. Clan craft sucks. Sure. Is bow better than the bow I have? I have a hunting bow, and this is a hunting bow. Good. Okay. Hmm. Hide armor. No, I'm not too worried. Yeah. Okay, so she said get back to camp. I'm gonna look around a bit more first. Cause hey, a beer. Yeah. Okay. Cool, so that was that was the first I feel like the first real combat that I've had so far. Um, poor, poor Sparfle. Sounds like a Muppet. R.I.P. Sparfle. Oh my god, there's more! Hot damn. Yeah. What you need? are jerks. Stop knocking me down. Yeah. Feels good. Press F to sparkle. Cool, so she's actually using the torch as a weapon. Oh, hey, it's, it's a role-playing game. Gotta take everything. Because I could sell it to that guy, of course. Um, I think that I'm going to... I want to look at the torch, so... She's hitting with it and it's dealing damage, but she's also like soaking up damage. I'm gonna give her a shield, I think. And then this axe is not as good as hers. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay. All around you lie, the massacred remains of the other travelers. Peppered with arrows and knife, peppered with knife hilts, peppered with knife hilts. Okay, everybody's dead. Kalisa puts the back of her left hand to her mouth as if to ward some poisonous vapor. A handful of dark figures stands over the fallen, treading on limbs and backs of heads, jerking their axes from bodies as if from half-split logs. These barbarians are the worst. One of them, towering and severe, with a thick beard tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the neck of a man. You recognize as Heodan, last of your caravan left standing. Glanfath and dogs! Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life for a fight you will lose. Whoa. So I have a bunch of options for my, my um, what did they called it? The, the description that I had before. Um, okay, so I'm going to go with lore, because... I, it uses both stats, and I like the idea of my character. I, my character is kind of like I'm kind of be going to be a little bit of try to be a little bit more of a jerk, but I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah I use lore. Your words carry no weight when I have seen the truth with my own eyes. Blood must be paid for this intrusion. They mean to kill us all. Oh, that's cruel. Requirement not met. <laughs> hmm. But I'm gonna go with intellect. I'm gonna go with the smart route. Uh, so this is really cool. I, I really like how much of this there is. Um, judging by the string of animal teeth around your neck, I'm guessing you're worshippers of Galloway. If Galloway told you to stop protecting the ruins, would you? The man frowns and motions as if to swing his axe. Heodan winces, but the blow never comes. Instead, the man cocks his head, intrigued. Of course, but he would not. It is by the command of all the gods we accept this charge. He's mean. How do you know? Because it's consistent with their beliefs or because it's what you were told? It has always been known to my people. I see, and what of Galloway's edict? That weakness and age must be purged by youth and strength. You think Galloway would want some moldy crumbling stones to survive long after their builders have turned to dust? He would not. He told us otherwise. Oh, I'm sure he did, just not you personally. Oh, but why should that stop you from killing innocents? Wow, I just, I'm just going to be a dick to this guy. Distracted, the man's grip falters and he nearly fumbles it, affording hate on the moment he needs to dodge out of his swing, which comes too late. Howling with rage, the man charges you instead. 
No, no. Hmm? And I, I like that I get immediate control of Heyo Dan. That's cool. Get out of there, Heyo Dan. What you need? Get in there. Hmm. I'm gonna cast spells. Cool. I'll be blind here. Seriously, dude, just get out. Oh, gibbed. What you need? Eh? Hmm? Hmm? Oh. oh, that's cool that they like just run alongside you. Come on. Hit them with your weapons. Nope. <laughs> Don't move. Alright. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad at all. Your enemy lies supine on the ground, unable to rise. His companions now silent among the other dead. His breath comes in wheezing, fitful gas. He looks not at you, but at the sky above you. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath the choke size, a whisper of wind. Oh, look at this whispering wind. Stirs the air. At this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good. Good. The gods, son. Just. A queer smile across his face. I am ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile, upending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You feel it begin to seep beneath your skin, and where it pierces you, it feels as though it is rending you apart from within. Jesus Christ. Seated against a wagon wheel, it's the howling wheel, some slashed across chest and bowel. Odema's body stirs, and with a great effort, he raises his sagging head. His eyes barely open. He looks directly at you. Inside. Run! Shiz. I'm, okay, I'm running. I'm running, guys. Here we go. What? Oh, no. Verbal magic creepy wind. What's even happening? Straining against a gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step, you set your hands in the worn folds of weathered rock and set about pulling yourself up the precipice. With a last burst of energy before your arms give out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Heyudan trails behind, slowed by injury and delayed by early hesitation. As he nears the face of the rocks, one of the fallen attackers, who'd been feigning death, lunges for Heyudan and topples him onto the rocky ground. Restrained, Heyudan lashes against his fatigued assailant, but struggles to break his hold. They're close to you. From your position, you'd have a good chance at hitting your mark. I grab a rock and hurl it at the attacker. Your aim is true, and the hit jars Heyudan loose. Lurching to his feet, Hayden clambers up the base of the rocks. As he nears the top, however, the wind flares, pulling him sideways and tearing one of his hands free. Jesus, his hands. But diving out onto the hard rock, you manage to catch hold of it. Securing his other hand, you pull with waning strength, and it feels as though your arms will be jerked from their sockets. But because the music died down, I know that they won't be. They hold just long enough for Hayden to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge. Oh, sh it's getting worse. Are we going to run into a dungeon? There is a deep resonance to the swelling wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest as it would shake the marrow from your bones. I really like how um, uh, overwrought and melodramatic this is. Each new gust menaces the old stone before you, loosening connections, unsettling balances. As you dart beneath the old archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. A glossary contains definitions and explanations of many terms used in the resolution of game mechanics. It's a weird break that... there. A biowick. Had to be. A biovac. To be alive. Do we are lucky to be alive, Kalisa. And we're the only ones. Here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. All right, so we have to get deeper into the dungeon. I'm gonna go ahead and save, because as much fun as I had describing all that stuff to you. I have narrowly escaped the strange and deadly wind that tore through the valley, but now I am trapped in the ancient ruins the caravan master told us to stay clear of. It's just like what happened in Lord of the Rings, you guys. should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? What now? 
That's funny, yeah, she's bugged. The first few words of every sentence get cut, gets cut off. Yeah, what happened to my tea? I feel so sick. What happened out there? Who attacked us? Glen Fathens. Those would be the hut dwellers. We were attacked by vault dwellers. Oh no. Look to be the fangs of Galloway. I know. I have intelligence and lore. They go ruin ruin looking for fights with colonists. Poor Adama. I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. They said we trespassed. I don't believe it. Odema would never allow it. I bet Sparful did it. Much of the fangs are hotheads. They don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something or... There's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. You don't seem too upset, Kalisa. Maybe you just don't know me well enough to know what upset looks like. Maybe I've seen worse, too. Wow, she's hardcore. Nothing to be done. Well, then let's... Let's get going, girl. All right, we got our first, we got our first dungeon. It's good. Game just throws me into this stuff. Didn't get any berries? What's this guy's deal? Hey, Odan. A rogue drifter. Oh yeah. Me too, Hey, Odan. Me too. <laughs> Beer. Right click for details. Instant plus one damage reduction for 300 seconds. Give me that beer. No, wait, you keep it. You need it more than I do. In here. We should move. Okay, so camping supplies. Oh yeah, I'll take those. You discovered some camping supplies. You can use them to rest in wilderness or dungeons, fully restoring your abilities and health. Easy difficulty allows you to carry more. Oh, cool. All right, so that's a nice mechanic. So the amount of times I can rest is mitigated or modified by um, what I have uh, in terms of um, camping equipment. Uh, I'm going to set her up with a second set of... Can I not? Yeah. yeah, so this way if we come across skeletons and stuff, I can switch to bludgeoning. Because, again, I've played Dungeons & Dragons before. Eh? Eh? A small shield and a torch. Okay. Hmm? Does this guy have anything in his other hand? Oh, he has two daggers. Classic. Eh? I wonder if we should... Here, let's, let's operate on this. <laughs> Stealth mode. The Eastern Reach is a dangerous place. Yeah, no, I know. Suspicious. Oh shit. Let's be careful. Only the penitent man will pass. Worth a look. <laughs> you don't say. Uh, let's here, let's How get can I help? let's get Rogi Rogers in here. But Jehovah in Greek is spelled with an I. Oh no! Oh, what the hell? But that was doing so good. <laughs> oh, you poor sucker. <laughs> oh dear. Well, okay. <laughs> That's a shame. How can I help? Uh, I don't know. Here, just rest, I guess. Or can we camp? Can I camp on this trap? Let's walk over here. Let's turn off fast mode so I stop doing stupid things. Let's make camp. Can we do that? Is that a thing? How do I? Where's my camping supplies? I have a hammer and chisel. That's nice. Camping. How do I camp? Where's the camp button? Here it is. Sure. Let's rest. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
I like that I can kind of just farm, farm these traps for XP. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, neat! I can make a little custom, custom thing. Here, you're in the front, and we're gonna go behind you like that. Yeah, Got custom it. formation number one. Cool team. All right, let's continue. Uh, let's continue exploring. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to miss out on this area. Jossgasm, <laughs> thank you for your subscription. Is this a kobold? No, it's like a lizard goblin. So it's a kobold. A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobby elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a zorip. A zorip. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. It's okay, little man. I won't hurt you. The zorip recoils. <laughs> Fingers still wrapped tightly around its spear. Cocks its head and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. Ba weep gra na weep mini bong. Doesn't have anything of interest. Do I have any food? Can I give him a beer? Maybe I'll have to come back with food. Let me talk to him one more time. What? Ah, oh, you jerk. Fine. Jerk off. Now you're dead. <laughs> Definitely not a kobold, though, everybody. Don't worry. Don't worry. It wasn't a kobold. Certainly not a kobold. Well, whatever it is, yeah. it's dead now. hear that? A crossbow? Look at all this insane stuff. What did I get? Did I get more beer? A crossbow. Tattered journal. A small folio torn in several places. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice. I've got my hands in a genuine ink within an artifact. Said it was pretty nothing. I'm gonna go digging some ruins. He's right about the gem leading to a hidden treasure. That's working. We're sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to Silent Lease in the morning. All right, so we've stumbled upon some other guys. Yeah, some other guys okay. attempt to get into a, into the dungeon and get some treasure. Didn't go very well for him. Oh, a scolder. Oh, we have like a party stash, I guess. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, well, let's just put all this junk in here. So I don't need to access it right away. And it sorts it for me. That's cool. Hide armor. Okay, I just want to check and see if this is better than my bow. Fast, slow, higher damage. Let's switch to the crossbow for now. Okay, cool. Shift clicking just throws it in the inventory. That is very useful. All right, where's my torch? Give my torch back. Cool. Okay. Let's continue on. Take a look at the. Oh, wall. I should be in stealth Shh. mode. We could get through. Yeah, we could. Let's bash the wall. A crack runs along it. Use the hammer and chisel to weaken the wall. Alrighty. 
Set to work. The crack lengthens and widens the process more taxing than whatever. I don't care. One final tap. Yay! Earthquake. But it looks like I'm in a constructed part of the dungeon. You could. All right, friend. Let's get you in stealth mode. You can go do that. All right, little man is gonna like sneak his way up. So there's a bad, a bad guy over there, and um, what, um, what else? Let's go fast mode. Come on. So there's two of these scolder thingies. Yeah. Let's just go wreck these dudes. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna get to cast this before it's dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought so. All right, another monster up here. Let's just kill this one. No problem. Take care of those jerks. What a lovely dungeon we've wandered that? into. There's a draft coming through that wall. I don't hear any sign of that storm Shh. either. Draft coming through a wall. Sounds like a secret door to me. Oh, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a role playing game without some giant spiders. Hmm. I'm not really digging the crossbow so much. Let's switch back to my bow. I also like that I don't have to track ammo. That's nice. Okay, so this is the alternate route around the weird trap. Alrighty. Oh, an even bigger spider. Hmm? Alright, you need to not get the spider aggro on you, buddy. Nope. No, he's dead anyway. God damn it. Sure. So you're that guy, huh? Continually knocked out guy. Give me that focus. That doesn't even matter. All right. Yeah. Wake up, chump. How can I help? How can I help? Oh, spear spider leg. Eh? Spider, spider, spider. Oh, minor fatigue, or is a little tired. Hey, a hat! Where'd that helm go? What? Did I just pick that up? There it is. Oh, hats have their own inventory section. Okay, here. Put this on. Oh, you look so cool! With your cool hat. Your cool tank hat. What does that even do? It is a helm. Good, good to know. Eh? Some jasper and some agate. Oh, bats as large as eh? chickens are strung up in the webs. Gross. Chicken bats. Okay. So the game, I mean, the game gave me this opening dungeon to show me what it's like um, doing a dungeon and like fighting real monsters and all that stuff. Oh, well, I'm gonna cut scene. Four figures stand before another worldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled adra and metallic veins. Do I know what adra is? Ominous and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. 
The other figures gaze upon it what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you were well obscured in their, from their view. Okay. All right. All right. Figure closest stands am out among them. A thick gray beard frames his face. It doesn't look very thick. It's like a goatee. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike any you've ever seen. He wears a black headdress with two protrusions like the wings of some malevolent creature. Oathbinder, bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Oh yeah, address those rocks. By the key be his absolution. May Death he walk the key. world ever free of the crushing weight. Thank you for all of those proper nouns. Uh, queen that was, a favored, the key, the weight of the book. Like, okay. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth. Be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Oh, well, here we go. Operate the mechanics. What is this thing? Look at a giant cannon. Or a... Whoa. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still. Then all at once, it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you're knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells into the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black, unconscious void. Heavy. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. The far end of the great pillar of Adra pierces the floor. A great pillar of Adra pierces the floor from below. A pillar, you say? Shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you've seen, but immense, multifaceted, and intertwined. Thoughts are yours and not yours. They seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions, pressing questions, troubling questions, questions that must be answered, or. or. At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick gray beard. What's this dude again? You know this man. You are walking toward him now. The pace is so hurried, he's trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him. One question above all. <sighs> I don't get to ask my question? Alright. You awaken to find your malaise is broken, only to be placed with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the end of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, and when you turn to look, you see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntary, paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figure at the machine stand frozen to place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Heodan and Kalisa lie bloody on uneven cobbles, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. No! You're alone and far from help. Gilded Veil may be your best hope for receiving treatment. What the hell? My friends! Oh. This game is worse yet. Well, I quit, so. Forget you, game. Actually, that yeah, music's a little loud. I'm gonna go back down. Okay. Such a shame. They're dead. Hmm. My poor, poor friends. Click the icon on their portrait to gain a level. Hmm. Yeah, your friends are dead, but hey, you gained a level, so grats. Let's throw uh, athletics, and let's throw a... Lore. Oh, yeah, four points. Dag. Okay. 
I'll pop another one there and uh, throw another one in. Okay. Especially because I'm going to be on my own now. Oh, I get another spell already. Cool. All right. Well, I don't have any friends. Maybe it'd be good to get the charm. Mind wave. Hmm, I'm thinking Tenuous Grasp or Whisper of Treason. I'm going to take Whisper of Treason. Okay. All right. So. Uh, oh, a talent. They can be just customize your character beyond your ability choices. Biting Whip. So my whip gets better. Um, I can take Psychic Backlash. So stunning an enemy when they target my will defense. Draining Whip, which regenerates my focus. Or greater focus. My maximum focus goes up. Maybe I will take a uh, draining whip. Yeah. Cast more spells. Okay. I gotta loot my poor friends. God, that's that's some shit right there. No problem. Well, good thing I didn't get too attached. Oh, my God, what's happening? Torture thing. Gross. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, let me just loot these vessels. That's fine. Some more horrible torture. But hey, I've got uh, vessel vessel flesh. Ew! The reeking flesh that once held a bound soul. Gross. This massive structure is from a stone adder and copper, covered in strange glyphs. Yeah, it's a big magic thing. Let's get out of here. Hey, world map. So there's Defiance Bay, Tearford Village, the tw Twin Elms. I am really far north. Literally the farthest north. Let us travel. You were just traveling, you whiner. Is camping the only way for me to recover fatigue? I think that it is. All right, so the game, let's talk a little bit about the narrative design. So the game, uh, this is a common thing to do in, in role-playing games, to show off something that won't make any sense until later uh, and to get us uh, Ex interested in the in the plot, right? So it's like, here's some stuff you're invested in, and now the game is going to blow up in your face, basically. Um, and you're going to kill all your guys. It's going to show. We talked about this before. This is the that's the Horrigan maneuver, right? To show the bad guy killing someone that you care about or killing someone that's already tough instantly and with no effort. Uh, so now I know. Oh shit! That that purple dude is obviously a bad guy. Um. I don't know if I'm like how much more I'm gonna learn about him, uh, and and at what rate, but we definitely know that we've learned by showing rather than telling that the dude in the purple clothes and all that other stuff is a bad scene. Is that a ghost? That was weird. My eyes are peeled. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna stay in stealth mode for now. All right, we'll just keep sneaking around here. Our body over there? Can't interact with it. Huh, all right, random body is scattered around. My quest is just to get through, yeah, across the Veilwood, okay. Oh, 
Who's this? An outlaw, huh? <laughs> Look how stealthy I am. Oh. He's meleeing me. I need a melee weapon, evidently. I guess because I'm alone now, so. Let's see if I can make this thing work. Haha, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> and then I immediately shoot him in the back. Okay. Alright, so that was kind of an intense fight. Um, I'm going to need to equip a melee weapon of some kind, I think. What do I got? Daggers. Let's take this battle axe and these shields. Make that my other option, because I feel like I'm going to be forced into melee combat, probably on the regular. Maybe I want a sword instead. Yeah, let's let's use a sword. All right, so that was my first example of combat all on my own, um, and I got beat on a little bit. Um, so, you know, that's a thing. Um, but uh, I, I would really like to have a friend to help me out instead of just getting stepped on by the same all the bad guys. So I'm gonna have to go and recruit some new friends. That's priority one when I get back to town. But until then, I'm creeping through the woods. Oh, there's some more wolves. Let's see if I can sneak past them. Yeah, I really don't want to fight three wolves at once here. Ooh, a ring of overseeing. Excellent. I will take all the jasper, all the agate, and I will take this ring. Nice. This is my first magic item. So I noticed that the magic items don't have any description. Like, do you remember, um, do you remember that, uh, in Baldur's Gate, a lot of the time you end up with this, um, Oh yeah, I can drag the windows around. You, you end up with these these magic items that, like, when you get up, even if it's a plus one sword, it's like, this is such and such, a sword that did these things. I've always loved doing that in, in Dungeons & Dragons especially. Like, I, when I GM, I never just say, like, you get a plus two sword. It's always, you find uh, Ravenfang. Or is that what it was? Yeah. Maybe I can go and talk to them. Uh, you know, and, and give folks a description of the spell because I think that these things matter, right? They, um, yeah, I think that they're they're a real thing that you should include in a game. All right, uh, Tenfrith, the young dwarf tending the stews, looks up, startled as he sees you approach. He drops his later, later, can't even speak. Drops his ladle, spattering stew across the ground. No, the stew. What? The bandit turns. Get her, you dogs. Make sure our new cook don't run off. Help! Please help! Me. One of the bandits gives Tenfrith a kick as they pass him, and he huddles. Shit. Okay. Let's make one of these outlaws my friend. Jesus Christ. No, stop hitting me. Hmm. Alright. So, I got smushed. Um, I need to find a way to... Uh, I'm going to rest first because I'm, I'm all fatigued and then I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and cutscene. Okay, so that was an unusual, uh, that was an unusual cutscene. Um, maybe this time I will just throw a spell at them. Can I just do that? I like that you can't preload in combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I couldn't um, throw that cypher, or the heal, heal spell, or, sorry, the charm spell. I couldn't just start with that. Cast your spell. Uh, yeah, I see, so your spells get interrupted if you get hit. You useless dwarf. Help me. Come 
on. Alright, so casting spells in melee isn't a thing that's gonna work. Um. Maybe I just have to fight them. Hmm. I feel a little bit outmatched in this in this battle. Because I can't cast spells really with all three of them pummeling me like that. Um, I may need to find another way to get around it. Hmm. Okay. No problem. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder what, what I can do to make that easier for myself. Uh, let me look at my spells. I wonder if any of them cast more quickly than the others. Speed average, average, and slow. Okay, so Whisper of Treason is not going to work here. Yeah, blind is the fastest cast. And I can hit two of them. Okay, well, let's try one more time. Um, uh, and I'm going to try and wait till they get to me, the two melee ones. And then I'm going to try to hit all three of them. Or all both of them with the spell. Let's see if I can get that spell off fast enough. Come on. Okay, let's take a look at the cast. Yeah, I missed. Alright. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I may need a... I may need some help with this one. I mean, like an NPC or something. Uh, maybe I'll come back. Because it stays on my map, so it's fine. My eyes are peeled. Okay, so I'm gonna keep wandering around uh, and and exploring this area for the next little bit. Continue that way. I go. There's a bear cave, some ruins. If I couldn't fight those guys alone, there's very little chance I'll be able to survive a bear encounter by myself. But I could fight one wolf. I feel good about my chances fighting one young wolf. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah. Purple power. Why I could bed down here. Why I could bed down here. Well maybe I shall. Alright. Good. Okay. So I'm kind of I'm kind of like learning my way around the combat capability of my character. Um again, like the game. I don't think that it does a very, like, active... And this is true of most RPGs, I think. It doesn't do a, an active job uh, t telling me necessarily um, how strong my character is. Like, I really have to get in fights and find out. Uh, which is a, a strange Hail, place to be. All right, Naunton. Dism hurriedly dismantling his camp. Uh, greetings, he says, a little breathless. On your way south, is it? The sooner you clear these woods, the better. I'm only passing through. I mean to reach Gilded Vale. Head it the right way, and there's no missing it if you keep to the road. I want to keep clear of that place after. We were just attacked north of here. We came out to hunt some deer. Came on a bear instead, and Pearly didn't make it. The forest already cost me a friend. I'm heading home before it takes anything else. Aww. Okay, buddy. Time to see and not be seen. Can I steal from him? Is that a thing? I have bad, bad fallout habits. Quickly and quietly. All right, so let me just take a look. I think this area is all mountains right now. I can't really get across the river there, and there's mountains blocking me here. So maybe I will just head. 
Yeah, maybe I'll just head south to the Gilded Vale and I'll come back. It'll take me eight hours to complete my journey to the Gilded Vale. Okay, excellent. Okay, um, so it's been about uh, been about an hour now, so I'm gonna save my game. Uh, I'm gonna grab uh, another glass of water and uh, run a quick commercial, and we will uh, we will come right back. So, stick around for more Pillars of Eternity.